this is the ROV that I'm in the middle of building at the moment. Uh, as you can see, camera in the front, which is behind an acrylic dome. I have two LED lights, one port and one starboard. I have a vertical thruster, which you can see there. Just put the light on. That's a starboard thruster. The lateral movement. That's a port one. That's a stern thruster which I'll use for making the ROV go port or starboard. This is a 12 volt 7 amp hour battery that I'll be using to power the motors and you can see alongside that I have made up two battery packs for each of the lights uh, they will be 4.8 volts and uh, they'll be sitting inside a plastic tube above the thrusters which go down that side there and one down the other side alongside the, the rail that the thrusters fix onto. They are super bright LEDs so there should be enough uh, light off them once we get into the water. The camera pans up and down the servo. You can see the servo in the back there. Uh, all this ROV has been made out of uh, PVC pipe which they use for underground drainage. The thrusters, these have been uh, from the downpipe from a gutter. Uh, I've just moulded the ends on top of a, a wooden dolly. I, heat, I heated the, the PVC up until it was pliable then I uh, forced it onto the wooden dolly which gave it the shape of the thruster as you can see there. The domes on top of the thruster unit there I moulded them as well out of plastic sheet uh, one and a half mil thick plastic sheet because I couldn't find any domes on the internet or anywhere hobby shops that would uh, do the job of uh, uh, putting on the end of the motors the thruster motors. As you can see I've put one on this thruster as well and it uh, just makes it I think a bit more stream like in the water. I haven't uh, done the, the lateral thrusters as you can see it's just a plain end uh, on the end of them where the cable comes out and uh, at the top I've made a, a box with all the terminals for each of the motors. I have the two lateral thrusters going into the same set of uh, power. Uh, that comes off a one speed controller so it's forward and reverse for that two motors. Uh, this is the vertical thruster here and that'll go up or down and this uh, two uh, sets of wires here this will be for uh, wiring up this cable here for the stern thruster. And the stern thruster uh, will enable the ROV to turn uh, port or starboard in the water. I'll just take off this wing nuts and I'll let you see inside the ROV. And this is where the battery goes in. There's a total of 12 
st uh, threaded uh, bolts that holds the lid on and uh, I've put a, an o-ring in the seal uh, to make a seal round the door and uh, as you can see there that's the o-ring there it's uh, 1 16th of an inch in diameter the actual ceiling on the door you can see there a bunch of 12 studs threaded 4 mil threaded studs uh, and as you can see where the groove is for the o-ring and this white seal is silicone and uh, it's still pretty flexible you can push your finger on against it so this should uh, provide an adequate seal for uh, the door once it's all bolted on as you can see this is inside the the ROV uh, this part here is where the battery sits in and it just sits in there perfectly I've made a framework inside you can you can see the, the thruster uh, tube for the vertical thruster uh, in the front end of the battery box uh, I thought it would be a better idea than having uh, thrusters on the outside of the ROV make it a bit more stream like in the water but as you see you can see the the switches this here is a switch for the speed controllers this switch here is for the battery and power to the motors this red piece here is a 10 amp fuse it uh, protects the motors and the speed controllers. This little switch here that's for the radio control unit. I'm using a four channel uh, radio control unit uh, and if everything works okay with the motors and the speed controllers I will uh, make another attempt at uh, uh, making another ROV which is uh, purely controlled with a, a beagle board or something similar uh, I do have a lot of the components that I've bought over the last few weeks uh, ready for uh, trial, trying this uh, ROV out. But uh, when I started making this ROV, I decided to make it uh, work uh, with a radio control unit, which I'd already bought for uh, £30, so I might as well use it and see how it goes. And as I say, my next uh, ROV, it'll be using all the pieces off of this one. The motors, the props, everything basically. The dome, the lights. Because uh, I don't know if I'll have enough room inside the ROV I have at the moment to accommodate all the el el electronic uh, panels etc when I do decide to make a, a PC based control uh, unit for controlling the ROV I have uh, tried the motors and everything they all work very good uh, I haven't tried it in water yet so <laughs> I just hope that the seals on the door and the dome work ok uh, I'll let you see the dome off I'll just take the dome off it's a, it's a bit tight I'll just put the camera down for a moment and uh, just take off the dome there we are that's the dome off and as you can see same again there is 12 four millimeter studs all the way around the flange which is epoxied onto the the pipe and you can see the camera there this is just a cheap camera uh, 640 TV lines and as I said earlier on uh, it's worked with a servo that makes it pan up and down you can just see the servo there this is a glass well the perspex or acrylic dome and 
that's all been siliconed in place. And it's a tight fit. Uh, and when I come to put this on the actual uh, ROV, due to the fact that I won't be taking the, the glass dome off again, once it's in place, I, I will put a, a, a sealant all the way around the flange face here, all the way around. And once it's onto the ROV and all the, the nuts have been tightened up, it should, uh, should be watertight. I don't know what sort of depth I'll be able to go with this ROV, but I presume it will go down 50 metres at least. Uh, and that's a glass dome back in place without the nuts being screwed on. Uh, this is a manipulator that I've uh, fabricated. Uh, this is going to be working off a, a 12 volt solenoid which will uh, push this rod here. Uh, I'll just close it. That's, that's it being closed just now but because it's uh, not central to the, the middle of the, the two uh, screws it uh, takes a bit of doing to get open and closed but once the actuator is on there and the 12 volt uh, sol solenoid uh, <coughs> actuator uh, it'll be uh, able to uh, move 10, 10 millimeter of a stroke so which is more than adequate to open the manipulator to its full opening position which uh, is roughly about this, I'll show you just now but as I said it's it's a bit tricky at the moment because I've had to that's it opening up but as I say because I can't keep this rod central there's not a guide for it at the moment but uh, the principle is there to open and close as you can see if I can just make sure it doesn't move there you go open and close, it doesn't take any effort to open and close it it's just me holding the camera and trying to do both things at one once it's uh, I'm not that uh, apodextrous but as I say uh, that's the ROV I'll let you see the battery going in position uh, and as I say it's 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 a tight, good tight fit It'll need something to just secure it in place once it's in there. But uh, as I say, that's the battery in there now. As you can see, uh, it's a 7 amp power battery, so it should uh, last me long enough while I'm in the water. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to power the lights using these two uh, battery cells that I've made up and I can recharge these but uh, I don't know if I'm going to use these yet I might just put uh, so much volts down the tether to power the lights and just use the battery onboard battery for powering the thrusters um, and the camera the camera is 12 volts as well so uh, and it works pretty good for being a cheap camera 10 pounds off a uh, uh, eBay from a Chinese uh, eBay site or well, a Chinese seller and uh, hopefully I'll get in the water in the next few weeks but I'm going to way back offshore on Tuesday so in a couple of days time I won't be, be here anymore until uh, uh, I've done my tour offshore so then I'll get back into the, the mode of uh, trying to finish off my ROV and hopefully next time you see the see a video it'll be in the water taking actual footage under the water and uh, which as I say shouldn't be too long bye now